Klahowia. I'm Tom Dewey. And I'm Claire McGuire. Welcome to Logger Vision. This week on campus, Cross Currents announced last week that they are now officially accepting submissions to this year's revolutionary magazine. Submit your poetry, fiction, nonfiction, art, photography, music compositions, and just about everything else to ccr at ups.edu. The submission deadline is October 25th. Thinking about ideas for career opportunities after college? The Fall Career Fair is coming up next week. The fair is an excellent opportunity to make contacts with potential employers, so remember to dress for success. Or simply come to find out where certain majors take themselves after college. The fair is next Tuesday, October 16th in the sub Marshall Hall. Homecoming is just around the corner. Homecoming starts Friday, October 12th and goes through the weekend. Events include underground jazz, a late night breakfast, pre-game tailgate party, and the big game versus Willamette. Come and support the loggers as they face off against the Bearcats Saturday at 1.30 p.m. Also, the Blues Scholars will be performing at 7.30 p.m. Get your tickets at the Info Center. On Tuesday, Jan Willis will be lecturing here at UPS. This lecture is part of the Swope Lecture Series covering ethics, faith, religion, and values. Jan is one of the first American scholars and practitioners of Tibetan Buddhism. The lecture is free and open to the public. It takes place Tuesday, October 9th in Schneebeck Concert Hall. Do you like literature? If so, the 42nd Annual Western Literature Conference is coming to Tacoma. The conference is October 17th through the 20th at the Tacoma Sheridan. Readings by several UPS professors include Beverly Connor, Hans Ostrom, and Bill Kapinski. The event is free to UPS students. Go to the Info Center to pick up your student guest badge. For more information, go to usu.edu slash westlit slash conference 2007.htm. ASUP Center elections begin this Thursday and run through Monday. You can submit your vote online at the ASUP's webpage or at a voting table in the sub. On Thursday, Professor Jeffrey Grinstad will be presenting A Journey of Discovery, abroad with photoreceptor APPA at Thompson Hall, room 175 at 4 p.m. In Lager Sports News, the men and women's soccer teams were awarded last Tuesday for their strong play, taking all four of the Northwest Conference Weekly Awards. On Friday, the women's volleyball team swept past George Fox, winning three games to zero. Saturday, the women's soccer team beat Pacific 2-0, to zero, while the men's cross-country team ran their way to third place at the PLU invite. We now go to Radiant Kane, who is reporting at the men's soccer game versus Pacific. Radiant? Thanks, Claire. I'm at the Lager men's soccer game. It's pandemonium here as we're in double overtime, and the score is 1-1. One to one. This is what a fa big fan had to say. We have a big fan here. Can you tell us what you thought of the game? I mean, this is intense. I, I came and it was we were down by one. Now we're tied, double overtime. What could be better? That's right. <laughs> well, Pacific just scored and we lost. Back to you. Go loggers. Thanks, Radian. And now it's time for This Week in Tom. This Week in Tom. This week I submitted a poem about power cords to cross currents. I filmed a movie for Proxis Imago. And I attended a UPS soccer game while listening to KUPS. And that's This Week in Me, Tom. Do you like jazz? Do you like diversions? Come join Underground Jazz and Diversions Cafe for the perfect blend of coffee and harmony as they celebrate 10 years on campus. The jam starts at 4 p.m. on Friday in Diversions Cafe. Wipe the dust off your mask and come to this Friday's Masquerade Ball in Marshall Hall. It's gonna be fun. And there'll be live music and a late night breakfast. Well, that wraps it up for Logger Vision. This has been Claire McGuire. And Tom Dewey. Reminding you, once a logger, always a logger. Have a sustainable day. <laughs>